Hey guys, so in this video, I'll be showing you how you can install the Android 9.0 on the Redmi Note 5 Pro and this thing will work on any smartphone which is having project treble so yeah this is the Redmi Note 5 Pro and it got the official project treble but this thing will also work on unofficial project treble via custom firmwares so there are tons of devices which got this Android P firmware working Android P generic system image and basically this is an experimental firmware so definitely there are few bugs but the user interface is fully stable as you can see I am not having any difficulties in opening any applications and this is the new power menu and this is the volume rocker options so everything is working totally fine guys here is the new android p notification panel so yeah basically in this video I'll be showing you how you can install specifically on the redmi note 5 pro without having any problems so first off your smartphone's bootloader must be unlocked in order to install this android p generic system image and specifically for redmi note 5 pro this thing is working on mocky os which is having project treble so yeah unofficial project treble i'm talking about and i've installed the normal twrp recovery let me show you starting things with booting up into the twrp recovery mode so yeah press the volume up key and the power button at the same time Okay, so this is the team in recovery 3.2.1 and I've tested this thing on the MIUI also. So this thing will definitely work whether you are on any custom firmware. First off, you will need to install the Mocky OS. I will leave the link in the below description box. This is necessary thing to install in order to get Android P working. This will be treated basically as base room. So you need to install the Mocky OS first. So everything is done. All you need to now do is wipe data and cache memory. Now reboot the system. Okay, so Mocky OS is booting up right now. And this thing is different for different different smartphones. Like for the Redmi 5 Plus, you need to install the OSP firmware. That is having project treble. So different for different different phones. In some phones, it is working with official project treble firmware. In some phones, you need to install the unofficial firmware. So yeah, the Redmi Note 5 Pro also got the official one, but yeah, it is working on unofficial. So that is something you need to care about. Okay, so it is booted and you need to set up this Mocky OS first off. This language is in Chinese, so you need to make it English or any other language you know just select next 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 and skip everything cause we are not gonna use this room of course so this thing is done mock us also looks beautiful now power off your smartphone now you will need to open the fast boot mode in order to install the generic system image of android 9.0p so that is the fast boot mode i'm gonna connect my pc to this really quick Alright, so as you can see, I am having ADB and Fastboot installed and this is the DP3 that is generic system image of Android 9.0p which is I am gonna install right now. So yeah, let's open the CMD here. First off, let's see if the device is connected or not. Alright, so as you can see the device is connected, now you need to install the system image. Okay, so it is now started downloading and flashing the system image. And if you are not aware of project treble and generic system images, you can check my video on Android P and project treble. In that video, I have clearly explained what is Project Treble and how it is going to make the Android updates faster and, and how you will be able to install the Android P generic system images on any smartphone. So the system 2 is now flashed. 
it is gonna take a few seconds the system 4 is flashing right now okay so as you can see it is finished now back to the smartphone itself all right now remove the cable and boot to the twrp recovery mode by pressing volume up and power button at the same time okay so this is the team win recovery now you have to do is mount the vendor from mount section in twrp recovery and press the back and select install select this post 1 install it right now and post 2 install it and at last post 3 just install it you need to install these three zip files in order to get android p working and this thing is made by irfan so great thanks to the developer all right so next you need to do is wipe your data so everything will get wiped and including the internal memory so you need to keep the backup in order to save all your data this is going to format everything because if you skip that part whenever you will boot your smartphone it will ask you for the password so you need to format the data press yes and formatting data so everything is wiped including my internal memory now you need to boot to the system yeah that's it all you need to do in order to install the android 9.0p you will also face a few bugs that i am gonna solve it right now okay so first of it is showing an error there is an internal problem select ok ok and skip all these things the launcher is not working as i said so it is going to show you an error of launcher is not working but that is totally fine you need to open the settings pixel launcher keeps stopping first off open the accessibility settings and their display size select it to small all right so it is done we are on the small display which is working totally fine on the redmi note 5 pro next off you have to do is open the system then open about phone there it will show you pixel xl cause it is ported from the pixel xl to all the smartphones next you have to tap the build number five times then open the developer options that's all the usb debugging must be on in order to flash the another launcher i'm gonna flash the launcher right now it is available for free so allow the usb debugging and open the fast boot again there you have to type adb install and that particular launcher apk lawnchair dot apk okay so it has started installing right now okay so it is successfully installed now as you can see launcher is now installed you have to select the always and there you have the android 9.0p fully working on the redmi note 5 pro so i would definitely recommend you to subscribe to my channel because i'll be making more videos on this the stable firmware is also coming really really soon so you guys will be able to install it in future also and you will be able to install this thing on any android smartphone which is having project Treble. so keep trying thanks for watching don't forget to like subscribe and peace out.